Alright guys, so I got another uh, video for you today. This is going to be on my uh, Galaxy S4 uh, Verizon version. But what I'm going to show you today guys, I'm really, really excited about. Um, this is going to be a universal root application that gives you root access on any Android device. What I've done is I found some base code in Android that I've found an exploit in and it so far has worked on every Android version I've used so I'm really really pumped about that um, let me just go ahead and show you guys some quick prerequisites uh, you're gonna have to go in here and if I can find it really quick don't remember if it, I think it's under security let me see here security and you're gonna have to go ahead and go and click on this right here unknown sources and make sure that's checked because you're gonna need that check to install the application which I will give you a link for if you have an older device like this one here um, you're just going to go into settings and applications and then unknown sources right there and check that out on that one also so that's how you know how to do it so you have unknown sources checked you're going to download my uh, file. I have mine on Drive here. And it's called root.apk. So it's uh, application right here. Just go ahead and hit install. And it's root junkie root right there. You can see. And it's installed. So we're going to hit open. And it's very, very simple. Um, universal root app roots any Android device. You just hit the button right there. And what's going to happen is the device is going to reboot. And we'll be in business so just give it a sec here and we'll reboot and I'll show you guys root access okay here we go uh, the device is booting back up so that is a, a good sign um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys this is a real real simple uh, setup so we're just gonna go ahead and unlock and it did reset my wallpaper is really not a big deal but let's go ahead and go into um, the app drawer here and scroll over, 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 and right here, there it is, Super Sue, right there. And if we click on it, we should have root access on a couple applications there. Yep, looking good. And that is it. Very, very simple. Universal Root App with Root Junkie Root. Well, guys, that was a huge waste of time. Uh, fun, but a big waste of time. You know, that's kind of how I feel about some of these questions I get on YouTube all the time that, that drive me up the wall. If you're a developer, if you're a guy who likes to help out others on forums, this is the kind of stuff that will uh, you'll really relate to here. This is, let me just give you a list of some of these questions I have that I think are hilarious. Um, just because it doesn't make sense why you're even asking it. So first of all, I'm just going to start out with number one question or comment I get all the time is, didn't work. Why are you wasting my time with this comment? If you want help, ask the question, ask for help. Otherwise, it just clogs up my inbox, man. Seriously, that stuff drives me nuts. I have no problem helping you, but if you got an issue, please at least spell it out. Second, people have contacted me in Spanish or Chinese. I obviously speak English. I'm not gonna translate it for you. Find a way to translate it or don't comment. Please, it's, just, it's, just, it's ridiculous, it's quite annoying. Uh, number three, uh, I did everything you did in the video, but it didn't work. Well, obviously, you didn't do what I did in my video or what the forum said because everybody else says it works. The developers say it works. I show you how to do it. You obviously missed a step. Again, description. What did you do? Exactly what are your steps? I can then decipher what you missed and help you out, but that comment does me no good. I can't help you with that. Um, number four, uh, statements, not questions. I, I always get statements. Now statements are okay in some forms, but I get statements like this. You bricked my phone, now it won't boot. Stuck in boot loop. These are my statements I get all the time. Okay, good, that's good to know, thank you. Are you asking me for something? Again, it's the same lines, I mean, um, and first of all, I didn't brick your phone at all. I didn't do it, it wasn't me. You did it. I showed you the directions, but I didn't do nothing to your phone. If you didn't read up enough to understand what you're doing, that's on you. Number five, uh, does this allow me to use an unsupported SIM? 
Did I say it allows you to use an unsupported sim? No, it's unlocked bootloader. It says nothing about sim. I don't show you anything with the sim. I don't know why you think it would do that. I've never shown anybody the sims on my videos. Get that question almost every week. All right, here, here, this is a good one. I like this. This has to do with um, rooting uh, a Verizon XT, what is it? I think it was like a 912 or something like that, which is a Motorola Droid Razor. And the guy asked me, he says um, that it messed up his device and his device ain't working. And I say, okay, was it the Verizon XT? This is in the video description, in the title. I said, was it the XT, Verizon XT 912? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, I can't help you, man, if you can't even read the like line on the heading. You had to click on it even to watch the video. I'm like, all right, here's a link. Go here, and you know, should be able to restore your device. But that stuff's like, come on, you guys can't be just idiots on this. If you're doing something you've never done, please research it, please. Um, a couple things you should obviously know about your device before you do any hacking is you should know what Android version you're on, what build number you're on, um, those are your two big ones. What device you have, what its uh, like model number is, um, any of that stuff. Basically anything in about phone, you should know all that information. If you can't know that information, you should not be rooting your device. Uh, name calling. This, this gets me a lot. People call me names, call me this, call me that. It, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's just a waste of time. I mean, I don't know why we're calling names. I mean, if you're mad because it didn't work for you, it didn't do what you thought it should do, Obviously, you have a problem you're not understanding. This name calling is just a waste of time. So I, I just think those are funny, and you're never going to get a response out of me to help you if you're going to start calling me names. So at, come on, people, grow up a little bit. Uh, number nine, my last one right here is um, you should have told me to make sure my phone is charged before uh, before I began the video. Like at the beginning of the video, please let me know that. Like seriously, it's in the video. If you're doing something to your device that's hacking your device, and you didn't watch the whole video or read the whole directions, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I put it out there. It's in there. The information's there. You're complaining because it's not at the beginning of the video? Dude, watch the whole video. This is ridiculous. All right, guys. That's my rant for today. I just wanted to tell you guys. I, I, I really do like talking to you guys and emails and communications. But please, guys, please. Every one of my videos has, at the bottom, requirements for contacting me which are those information in the about phone on your Android device. That's pretty much what I'm asking for. This helps me troubleshoot and helps me help you guys. So please, whenever you comment, put that in. I really appreciate it. As always guys, this is BruteJunkie.com and here you go, you can see me in my little humble abode back here. And uh, good talk to you guys. And also check me out on Facebook and Twitter over here. Hope this didn't piss off anybody too much. I think it's kind of funny. Anyway, catch you guys later, thanks.